Hello, hello, Sen here, and I'm just doing a quick video on how to beat Omega and Shinryu in Final Fantasy V. This works in every single version of the game, so if you're playing the old Super Famicom, this works too. Real simple strategy for Omega is to just have three characters using Romeo's Ballad, aka the love song. And he's basically susceptible to stop. So as long as you have three characters casting this, and the reason why I'm doing three is because he can break out of it really fast. You could probably do it with two, but it's much safer with three. And then your fourth character, just do your greatest attacks that you can do. So in this case, I'm doing rapid fire and dual wield and getting the eight attacks. I also am using the Spellblade Thundaga since he's weak to thunder. Uh, and it, be careful with using Excalibur like at the beginning of this fight where I did. Uh, because that heals him. So as long as you use Spellblade, it will switch over and not heal him anymore. And there he goes. One combo and he's pretty much down. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP, but his whole thing is he does so many deadly attacks that you have to use those songs to keep him locked down. That Omega badge there, that doesn't do anything by the way. Also, uh, I didn't know if this was going to work in this version, so this is actually my first attempt and I actually got the achievement here for this. But uh, yeah, so every version you can kill Omega that way. It's kind of cheesy. And Shinryu has his own version of cheese, and I'm going to go over that, too. He's basically really easily beaten with the mix command, so as long as you have... Like, th both these strategies are really good for everyone, even at a low level. Mix command. Two items you want to make. So we got eye drops mixed with dragon fang, and that should make the uh, dark attack. So. That will, uh, that will blind him, so lower his accuracy. And what we're trying to avoid with him is getting him from casting, because his spells are devastating, but his melee is nothing special. So uh, Then you, the other thing you mix up is you mix some uh, holy water and turf shell, and that will make the Brachus wine, or Brachus cider in this version. Uh, and that's Berserk status. And that's basically it. Now he can't use spells, and he's pretty susceptible to just being beaten on and as long as you keep Golem up, you should be good. You won't be able to really break your Golem walls before you beat him. So. Well, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to put a little video on people who are having trouble with these fights. These are like, these are actually one of the first super bosses in any game ever. So it was kind of cool to go back and fight these again and use these very silly strategies, which have really worked since the beginning. It's just people don't think to use such unusual things, but yeah, that's the weaknesses they've always had, so if you want an easy time, just go with that. Alright, well, have a good one. I'm just going to let the fight play out, and that's it. See ya.